Swedish Speedway. Uh, now we are on the one of the world's longest straight lines and now breaking into the first corner which is from sixth gear to first gear right under there. It's a simple corner but uh, you can gain lap time quite a lot by the braking late and making the exit right and the next is uh, turn 3. Uh, quick left hander which is a bit tricky because uh, the apex is flying and then next is 100 out which is a very fast corner nearly flat through this car. Then the hairpin, the braking is a bit tricky because it's really easy to lock up the front and uh, exit. Uh, if you touch the curb, you'll be dragged by the curb, so it's a very tricky corner. Then after 300 R, which is easy flat in a dry, it's a Dunlop corner. It's almost first gear, very slow, and uh, it's a kind of chicane. And it's a very tricky because it's a very slow corner and you can easily lose lap time. Then you have turn 13 which is third gear corner, then you come to one before the last corner which is also blind for us so it's very difficult and slow corner. Then here comes the last corner which is second or maybe third gear which is very important corner uh, because you have a long straight line coming afterwards so the exit speed uh, may affect the lap time quite a lot. Then you are back in a uh, main street.